the free press update. We are arriving at a 19 billion year completion. Free Humanity Home Energy and Event Update. Greetings, love beings. If everyone thinks it's intense energy now, we have only just begun this next facet of the divine plan in action. This next rollout of intense energies are preparing everyone for the galactic alignment, which is now less than 90 days away. This event has been in process for 19 billion years and is coming into completion. All of creation is becoming one, which is beginning a brand new cycle in creation. This is an inevitable event as Mother Earth Equal Heart takes her rightful place at the center of this universe. This upcoming harvest full moon is bringing in intense transformational energy, which means major changes are up ahead. Kelly Rosano. September closes amid the powerful Aries full moon on September 29th through the 30th, challenging Pluto and Uranus. This could be the most intense full moon of 2012. Major changes are to be expected. The secret to our success in a shifting environment is our willingness to experience rapid evolution. While our growth can be swift and painful at times, our rewards too can be great. The Aries moon symbolizes action, independence, inspiration, courage, enthusiasm, and originality. <clears throat> the Aries moon is coupled with erratic Uranus, opposing the sun in Libra. All are T-squaring intensely challenged, challenging by calculating Pluto. We can expect the unexpected. We can experience sudden surprises. Be calm. Act from a place of calmness. We are moving from breakdown to breakthrough. The sun was quiet, now is reflecting the incoming energies. And we also have an incoming solar storm cloud, which will arrive in the next two days. Malaya Gale. At the fall equinox, the north node was on 29 degrees Scorpio. This is the degree of much light coming to Earth, and that chart will be in effect for three months. This energy will continue to affect us all for a while. And this upcoming full moon will trigger the cardinal cross. In fact, the sun will be in exact opposition to Uranus, the planet of fast-moving changes. The sun will be 7 degrees Libra, Pluto 7 degrees Capricorn, and the moon will be conjunct Uranus at 6 to 7 degrees Aries. If this doesn't bring lots of changes to Earth, I don't know what will. End of quote. After going through this momentum, momentous equinox, everything is really heating up, as we have many events which need to manifest quickly. We are on an upward spiral. Mother Earth Equal Heart is moving into position, and those who are ready are moving with her into 5D frequencies as decreed. All Mother Earth Equal Heart's prayers of true unconditional love, peace, joy, equality, wholeness of being are manifesting as divinely decreed on this planet. These are going to arrive as fireworks. Gaia portal update. Grid point sparking occurs as alignments finalize in preparation for the next stage of the ascension process. Energy upgrade for the Gaia entity is required for final period leading to the 12-21-12 grand window. Scientifics in the 3D, 4D are occurring so as to prove concepts of higher levels. More to be unveiled increasingly as day passes night. Many are called, and many answer that call, unlike prior syllogisms. Messages from Gaia have overridden cosmic ones. This may seem odd to some, but Gaia is the primary focus of the cosmos at this time. We see all is proceeding smoothly, and do not anticipate any more stops in progress through the 12-21-12. The fireworks are now beginning and they are real, end of quote. As we have shared in our previous update, the old is falling quickly now, and as this falls, love is moving in forever. Love is in the air and everywhere. Quoted from Sheldon Nidal. 
New social operating structures for this reality are starting to manifest that are not yet apparent to the uninformed. The more sensitive among you are sensing that something is in the air, and this something is the setting up of the new grids in your various local time dimensions, which will precipitate your long-promised new reality. The moment chosen for the beginning of this shift is to be given to you shortly. The Andromedan and Pleiadian scientists, who are the prodigy of those who brought this knowledge to Earth, feel very honored that this sacred date is soon to be revealed to you. It will be worrying years to end, just after this chronological and spiritual phenomenon happens. Very shortly afterwards, we have planned a series of events that will usher in a whole new physical reality for you, in which we intend to bring about full disclosure, as well as proceed rapidly with the changes in the way your world operates. The Dark Cabal knows that its rule over your world is wearing thin, and indeed, the collapse of your reality's old grids is fully underway. The replacement grids are in place and awaiting heaven's manifestation of them. <clears throat> Meanwhile, our fleet is preparing in like manner the grids of all the other planets in your solar system for this grand shift. This is extremely close. We expect the dark to continue its charades until it is finally pushed from power. At present, your reality is continuing to topple. The grid points which hold the structural integrity of your reality together have begun to develop a new grid. And we are told that it is to come into being globally at any moment. This enables the Dark Ones to see that their secret technologies can no longer hold back the tide of change. The Holy Spirit has touched every part of the sacred orb, triggering a series of events that will ease us into a new reality. Time as you experience it is ever-changing, producing wondrous effects upon the sun and all her daughter world, and Gaia is no exception. You have all noticed the odd weather patterns caused by displaced jet streams with huge amounts of precipitation and flash floods, and unaccustomed wind and weather phenomenon happening everywhere. These all herald a new time for your realm, a moment when the dark is finally eclipsed by the light. All of our associates are working toward the divine moment put forth by the decrees of heaven. We watch the dark cabal trying desperately <clears throat> to seize the moment by creating a state of global chaos intended to somehow stem heaven's divine tide. We comprehend the depth of desperation that has taken hold in the capitalist mindset as we see them scurrying around like mice on a sinking ship, seeking for ways to sneak out onto a lifeboat of any sort. But, all in vain. It is time for them to face the music and surrender to the piper of divine fate. The moment has come for each of them to let it all go and accept that they are part of an immense shift in consciousness that is washing with abandon into every nook and cranny of this precious world. <clears throat> we watch in joy <clears throat> as the various elements of this complex operation make their appearance, and settle into this position as if guided by an invisible hand. This setup is one that heaven has spent many millennia bringing to you. The dark did not suspect that such an immense task was in store. We ask you to acknowledge heaven with your special blessings. <clears throat> Whenever you meditate, when you pray or present sacred ritual to the glory of the light of eternal creation, we rejoice in what is happening around this planet, and we thank the mercy and the divine grace of heaven and the Creator. We thank you for your support and for your wondrous prayers and meditations that are moving us forward swiftly to a new reality. The divine moment we have all waited for is upon us. <clears throat> we will shortly witness events that are to change your world positively and forever. <clears throat> End of quote. Mother Earth's vision of love everywhere present is manifesting and is an, un, is an unstoppable energy. If you are awake, you can feel this truth right to the core of your being. We are moving. <clears throat> we are moving quickly as to fulfill the prayers and visions of love clearly stated by Mother Earth Equal Heart herself and granted by the Creator. <clears throat> 